pain assessment is conducted by nurses throughout the hospital, but most importantly in post-operative wards. Nurses play a very important role when it comes to pain assessment and pain management due to our constant care of patients and being the middleman between the patient and the rest of the multidisciplinary team. Pain and its assessment and management are always ever-changing and using the current evidence-based practice guidelines are ever so important. Pain assessment is using subjective and objective data along with the use of pain assessment tools to decipher how much pain the patient is in and how we can manage the patient in the short and long term. There are a few barriers that we as nurses come across or are affected by when it comes to providing pain management or during our pain assessments. These barriers can include staff shortages, high workloads, we are the nurse's attitude, attention seeking patients, and low socioeconomic patients. Staff shortages and workloads can have a great impact in the overall type of care we are able to provide to our patients. The pay gap can be one contributing factor to this cause. The pay difference between RNs and ENs can force some wards slash hospitals to recruit more ENs than RNs. This creates a gap in competency and confidence that the nurses have. Some ENs are untrained or unskilled in certain areas and are not able to fully care for their patients. This puts a strain in our hospitals and wards and increases the workload for our nurses and can lead to burnout. Another contributing factor is that private hospitals have different payment schemes and incentives that can drive away nurses from working in the public sector, which is where most patients tend to go. It is unfortunate, but nurses tend to have a negative attitude towards patients with a low socioeconomic background. Research and studies suggest that nurses have a preconceived idea that low socioeconomic patients will be more demanding and ask for pain relief more often. Due to this preconceived thought, it has been noted that some nurses tend to treat these patients with general pain relief medications, as they believe the patient will be unable to comprehend the discharge instructions with the use of stronger medications. Nurses generally just go with the easiest option instead of investing their time on explaining how opioids work or explaining non-medicated pain relief options. Nurses also have a belief that low socioeconomic patients will also rate their pain score higher in order to get stronger pain relief that they may not need and nurses tend to find these patients less credible. Post-op patients are directly affected by pain assessment and management, but it is a broad topic that can be covered by all patients in the hospital. All patients are assessed for pain in one way or another. Post-op patients are where the management can really define the length and quality of recovery. Low socioeconomic patients have an unfair advantage due to the preconceived ideas. The poor management and assessment can ultimately hinder the recovery time and process. One of the articles I read was based on assessing pain against low socioeconomic patients. It provided us with some hard truths about the nursing profession. We should treat all our patients with the same respect and have nil preconceived ideas when caring and treating our patients. We really need to raise awareness and concerns of the detrimental effects we can have as nurses when caring for lower socioeconomic patients. This may have an impact in the way we treat our post-op patients. We can achieve this through further education and in services aimed at highlighting the effects incorrect pain management can have towards our patients and the overall healthcare system. Further research would also help understand this topic in more depth and try to find the underlying causes and reasons nurses fall to these conclusions. Another article I read focused on how Thai nurses assess their patients for pain and how they manage it. The research found that their pain assessments included three method approach. This three method approach included asking the patient to rank their pain in numerical order. Subjectively judging the patient on their appearance and mobility. This method should really be implemented everywhere. It takes three methods to assess the patient on their pain. 
Communication is both verbal and non-verbal, and as a nurse, you learn more from the patient through their non-verbal cues. One implication is the ability to capture all the data and be able to communicate it freely to other members of the multidisciplinary team. That is the challenge. The Thai nurses capture the data well, but struggle to hand it over to the relevant healthcare professionals. This is why communication is so important for nurses as so much information can be lost and missed in the handing over to other people phase. More research should be conducted into the reason why our hospitals have staffing issues. Looking in depth into the driving factors of what takes our nurses away from the public sector. This provides a big gap in the quality of care we can provide and puts a big impact in the management of patients regarding pain. Ideally, establishing proper nurse to patient ratios would be amazing in the healthcare system to lower the workload our nurses have in each shift to allow them to provide quality patient care all the time. Hospitals need to recruit established RNs that are confident and competent to provide excellent care towards our patients. If we compromise this for other things, then the patient's recovery will be increased putting more pressure and more costs onto the hospital. Pain assessment and management of our post-op patients is very important and can have positive or detrimental effects towards our patients' recovery. Many factors can come into place to give our nurses a poor pain assessment. These can be surrounded by many facing issues including staffing issues, high workloads, preconceived ideas of low socioeconomic patients and many more pressing issues. None of these pressing issues give any positives to our patients. If anything, it takes away from the quality care our nurses are able to provide. In the long run, this will increase and complicate the patient's recovery time. Our nurses need to have a clean slate and treat all our patients with the same respect and trust in what our patients are telling us. Not doing so can have negative effects towards our patients. At the end of the day, they are in pain, so we don't know exactly what they are going through.